All right, so we got 25 PS2 facts you didn't know. Let's go to the God of War 2. Classic. Yes, sir. Welcome to Mojo PS2 Place. was golden, man. We're going over 25 PS2 facts that you may not know. We here at Mojo Place love the PS2, so we decided to dig a little PS2 deeper too. and share some console trivia for you fellow retro gamers. Do you love the PS2? Let us yes. know your favorite PS2 memory in the comments. My favorite PS2 memory is God of War and uh, oh my God, and uh, NFL Street. Before we continue, we publish content all week long. Be sure to subscribe to our channel Shout and to Mojo the Place. Bell to be notified about our latest videos. Or watch Mojo Plays. Let's go. Release date. <laughs> the release of the PS2 was a date that would change the Bro, landscape look at of this. gaming and get us closer to an all-in-one entertainment machine. Nobody don't do this no the more. The PS2 was released in Japan on oh March 1st, 2000. North America on October that Wayne 26, Brady? 2000. Oh, who was that? Europe on November 24th, 2000. I've been waiting for this day. Wayne I'm Brady. Cry right now. I, I think I'm going to cry. I'm a huge fan. Lifetime sales. It came out of nowhere and, and attacked us. As it stands, the PS2 is the best selling console of all time. Yeah. The PS2 sold over 155 million units over its lifespan. While the PS2 Which had amazing games, there was a bigger feature that ensured it sold dramatically. God of War. DVD player. Yes, sir. At the time, the PS2 was one of the cheapest DVD players. Most commercial DVD players were ranging from $700 to $1,200. Yeah. So getting one for only $299 was one heck of a deal. Because you could just put your DVD inside the, P uh, the PS2 and watch a movie. Logo spin. The PS2 could sit in two ways, horizontal and vertical. I never even the knew that. I'll be real. The PlayStation logo could also be swapped depending on how you have the console set. I never knew don't that, bro. too much. You don't want it to fall off. Startup towers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm getting nostalgia. The PS2 is full of fun Easter eggs, with the towers in particular being a great feature. Turns out, they aren't random. Each tower represents a game played with a memory card inserted. The height of the tower will change depending on how long you've played the game. So for most I did of not those, know that. the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Tower is rather large. Man, I know this cat. He a punk <laughs> used to run with a front yard baller OG from Idlewood. <laughs> Netflix disc. We often take for granted what? how easy it is for us to boot up Netflix on any device. Did you know the PS2 had Netflix? I did In not Brazil, know that. You could access Netflix via a disc with your PS2. This service was live until 2012, and the service never left Brazil. Online uh, gaming. ...of what a, a networked console should offer them. While the Xbox is known for bringing online gaming to the masses, the yeah. PS2 could also go online with select games with the help of a network adapter. Playing SOCOM with a real team and against other players was unreal. The console also brought the spectacular MMO. I remember the first time I was online, bro. It, it really, I, it was amazing, bro. I couldn't even understand it. And I was playing with real people across PSX. the world. PSX. I remember PSX. We're not talking about the shortly lived PSX event or PlayStation experience. The oh. PSX is actually another model of the PS2. While we have oh. the original fat PS2 and the sleeker slim model, the PSX was on another level. I've never seen this Adding before. Adding to the all-in-one entertainment Ooh, machine, hold up. the PSX was not only an amazing gaming machine and a DVD player, but also a digital video recorder. The PSX was also the first PlayStation product to use the cross-media bar. That we later saw on the PSP and PS3. Yes! So you could like record like gameplay and stuff on there? That's crazy. Best-selling game. What was the best-selling game on, P on PS2? With the PS2 being the best-selling console ever, some of the games sold amazingly well too. One of the biggest gaming franchises that graced the PS2 was the Grand Theft Auto series. Obviously. All three Grand Theft Auto games are in the top 10 best-selling PS2 games, with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas standing at the pinnacle with 17 million copies sold. Hey, you gotta keep it real, man. That was crazy. Rare games. Rare games. Okay, let's see, let's see some rare games. The PS2 has some of the most sought after games when it comes to collectors. The yeah. PS2 has not only one of the biggest libraries, but one of the best. So it's only natural that some of these golden oldies would be pricey as hell. Games like Haunting Ground, Rule of Rose, and Kuon have gained I never a heard none of these games before. Respect for that. Have know. become insanely expensive. Oh my god. Oh, ooh. He won a bite. 
backwards compatible. Sort of. What? It's nothing new that the PS2 can play PS1 games, but yeah. not all games can be played with the best experience. Games uh, like Digimon Rumble Arena will have massive slowdown on select stages, so okay. much so that the game becomes unplayable. Harvest Moon Back to Nature may not load the next screen after loading, and Street Fighter what? Alpha 2 may freeze as a match is starting. <laughs> oh my god. Playable on PS3. The PS3 Hello? was meant to be an PlayStation, playing both PS1 and PS2 games along with its own library. The PS3 However, was a good as console. as new models were announced, this feature fell to the wayside, allowing for less and less compatibility. I had the middle one, by the way. You have to know the middle and that whole stack. I had the middle one. PlayStation 2 TV. I never heard of this before. PlayStation 2 TV. I never heard of that before. What if you could have a TV with your favorite console built inside of it? Well, in 2010. Sony released just that. The Sony Bravia KDL22PX300 was a 720p TV with a built-in PS2. This TV used the cross media bar and allowed users to access select apps for streaming. So you can just pick up a TV and the, the PlayStation is already connected is to it. That's the fact that it was released cool. 10 years after the initial launch of the PS2. That's cool though, I can't lie. PS2 mascot. Oh God, Lord. Oh While the PS2 God, that had a handful amazing. of iconic characters, there were three main mascots for the PlayStation that could appeal to all gamers, young and old. Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, and Ratchet and Clank were the family-friendly mascots that go hand in hand with the I PS2. I knew Ratchet and Clank was in it. I didn't, I didn't know the other ones. I'll be no real. In the zeitgeist, Ratchet and Clank are still one of PlayStation's most important IPs, and True. the only one of these three that is still receiving new entries. Hey, I think I found the Wombat. <laughs> Meaningful logo. Bro, the PlayStation logo is so cool. I even got it. PS2 logo is pretty iconic on nowadays, my wallet, bro. but there is actually a bigger meaning to its design. The style of the PS2 was designed to be popular everywhere. The color of the console is black to represent outer space, while the blue PS2 logo is meant to represent the Earth as most of it's covered in water. Uh, I did not know that. HD That's crazy. visuals. Listen, PlayStation 2 has some good, good graphics, in my opinion. display games in a multitude of ways. However, there are four games that can be displayed at 1080i, making them the few PS2 games that can be displayed in high definition. These What's four what? games are Taurus Trophy, Gran Turismo 4, Jackass the Game, and Valkyrie Profile 2. While 1080i I might never not that. be the highest fidelity compared to today's standards, back in the 2000s, this was the highest of high definition. Yeah. <laughs> disc read error. Leading oh, to a class Lord. action lawsuit, the disc read error was giving false disc errors for PlayStation 2 owners back in the day, even leading to damaging some disc. Eligible gamers that were affected by bro, this error were able to receive they a free me game cleaning my PlayStation free 2 disc with toothpaste, bro. Bro, oh man. David Lynch. Commercials are meant to show off what a product can do. However, some PS2 commercials didn't tell us anything about the system. Its bizarre commercials were actually created by David Lynch of all people. These commercials were intended to appeal to early adopters, but barely shed any light on it. What type of commercial is that? The library. <laughs> What type of commercial the PS2 was that? has one of the largest gaming libraries out there. It of has course. over 10,000 games released worldwide. Yeah. As you'd expect, a lot of it's trash, but it also has some gems that are still revered to to this day. Obviously, God of War 2 was a mate. I keep saying it, bro. It, it, it was. The PS2 launched with 29 games, some of which are considered classics, with others, not so much. The launch had a little bit for everyone, hitting most genres, games like Time Splitters, SSX, and Ridge Racer 5. Helped usher in the PS2's golden age. I never played Ridge Racer before. Never played this game before. Oh, hold up. PS2 game. What was that, FIFA The PS2 nine? had a long lifespan lasting well into 2013. Oh, okay, the final PS2 game to be released was Pro Evolution Soccer 2014. 
were released November 8, 2013 in Europe, meaning games were being released for the PS2 for over 10 years and that actually selling well crazy. enough for them to keep making them. That is crazy. Look at Benzema's face. The PS2's lifespan measured out to 13 years, creating gaming monuments and receiving an endless slew of support during its cycle. The PS2 was officially discontinued worldwide January 3rd, 2013. PC. Man, it was about time. The PS2 was truly the only machine you needed back in the day. You could have a game system, DVD player, and a PC. That's right, you could turn your PS2 into a Linux PC with an official kit. Back then? PSP connectivity. PSP games are the business. And I oh can't my God, stand PSP. hearing these kids talking about some weak app on the front. I had a PSP, the PSP and in, PS2 in school. could actually talk to each other with certain games. Some allowed you to transfer saves between the two. Bro, I had a PSP you in can take school, bro. Shout out to everybody who had a PSP, bro. PS2 and transfer the save to your PSP. Disc bro, I thought color. I was so Ever cool, bro. Ever wonder why some PS2 discs are different colors? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Blue discs are CD-ROMs, while silver discs are DVD-ROMs. Yeah. Who knew? Did you enjoy this video? I mean, that makes sense, though. Check out some other clips I did from enjoy Mojo this video, Plays. man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? Shout out to Watch Mojo Plays for the video. See you guys later, and...